Hello everybody and welcome back to Divulgando Ciencia. My name is Gustavo Herz Huber. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about HIV. I'm gonna tell you what are the side effects of the antiretroviral therapy for the long term, but also for the short term. And I will also give you some tips how to improve these side effects. But please, I would like to ask you first to give the video a like, share, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and please also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Welcome to this new video. The main goal of HIV treatment is to fight the virus in the body. The challenge is to do so without causing unpleasant and unhealthy side effects. The side effects of medication vary from person to person. For some, they are mild. For others, they get in the way of daily life. Ask your doctor what to expect from your treatment. Some drugs can have life-threatening side effects, so it's critical that you know what to expect. Feeling low during HIV treatment can result from HIV itself or the drugs you take to treat it, illness you had before you got HIV, infections, stress, depression, diet, aging, and other medications. Work with your doctor to find out what is causing your symptoms and make the side effect less of a problem. Keep taking your HIV medications unless your doctor tells you to stop taking them. It's dangerous to change the way you take them or stop them abruptly if you are not happy with how you feel or how they affect you. This makes it easier for HIV to stop responding to the drugs. This makes the virus more difficult to treat. Continuous treatment can prevent HIV from turning into AIDS and help you maintain a near normal lifestyle and lifespan. Short-term side effects. When you start antiretroviral therapy, ART, or if your doctor changes your antiretroviral drugs, you may have side effects while your body adjusts. They usually get better in a few weeks. Often you can do or take something to prevent or relieve the side effects. If your symptoms do not improve or if they are severe or unusual, tell your doctor right away. He or she will be able to determine if the medication or something else is to blame. The most common short-lasting side effects can be controlled with lifestyle or habit changes. Don't smoke. Eat healthy foods and try to exercise every day. Seek support if you need it. Your doctor can tell you how to take your HIV medicine or prescribe medicine to lessen side effects. If necessary, your doctor can switch you to other HIV medications. These steps can help you manage some of the most common side effects. Fatigue. Try to take short naps of 20 to 30 minutes. If you can, reduce your work schedule. Balanced meals will energize your body and gentle exercise can boost your energy. Feeling dizzy and vomiting. You have to take some HIV medications with food. Make sure you know what they are. Avoid eating things that can upset your stomach. Ginger, in the form of ginger ale, ginger tea, or ginger cookies, can help calm your stomach. Eat some crackers in the morning. Stick to small meals and cold foods. Drink plenty of water to stay hydrated. Do not take antiacids or other over-the-counter products unless authorized by your doctor. Diarrhea. Drink plenty of fluids so you don't get dehydrated. Ask your doctor which over-the-counter products for diarrhea are safe. Headaches. An over-the-counter pain reliever may work. Rest drink plenty of fluids, and stay away from loud noises and bright light. Insomnia. Limit caffeine and avoid large meals close to bedtime. It might be tempting, but try not to take naps during the day. Keep a regular sleep schedule. Try adopting relaxing bedtime habits, such as warm baths, warm milk, soothing music, or massages to signal your body that it's time to sleep. Rashes. Avoid long, hot showers or baths, and skin products with alcohol or harsh chemicals. Use sunscreen and moisturizing lotions or petroleum jelly on dry, itchy areas. Skin reactions to injections. If you have to get injections, check with your doctor to make sure the technique is good. Change sites to give your skin and tissues a chance to heal. 
warm the medication in your hands before injecting it and apply a cold compress to the area afterwards. Pain, tingling or numbness in your feet or hands. Gently massage them. Wear loose shoes or jewelry. Over-the-counter pain relievers such as ibuprofen or naproxen may help. Dry mouth. Suck sugarless candy or chew sugarless gum. Drink plenty of fluids. Avoid sugary or sticky foods and caffeine. Remember that all of these can also be a sign of a health problem that is not related to your HIV treatment. Always call your doctor if you are thinking about stopping a medication because of side effects. If you have severe symptoms, whether or not they are related to your medications, call your doctor. Long-term side effects. Some side effects may not go away or may cause serious problems, but there is often a way to manage them so they don't affect your life. Fat redistribution. Your body can change the way it makes, uses and stores fat. Your doctor will call this lipodystrophy. You may lose fat in your face and legs and gain fat in your belly and back of your neck. Changing medications may keep symptoms from getting worse, but there are a few other options for treating this problem. Higher cholesterol or triglyceride levels. These can increase the risk of problems such as heart disease. Diet and other lifestyle changes are a first step. Your doctor may also want you to take medications such as statins or fibrates. High blood sugar levels. Regular exercise, weight control, and other lifestyle changes are a good place to start. Your doctor may also suggest medications to help control blood sugar. Liver damage, hepatotoxicity. This is more likely if you have hepatitis B or hepatitis C, if you drink alcohol or take other medications that can damage the liver or already have a liver problems. Symptoms include rash, stomach pain, fatigue, jaundice, loss of appetite, dark urine, and light color stools. Your doctor will monitor you for liver damage once you start HIV treatment and may change your medications if you show symptoms. Loss of bone density. You may be more prone to bone fractures, especially as you get older. Try weight-bearing exercise, such as walking or lifting weights. Talk to your doctor about taking calcium and vitamin D supplements. You may need medication to treat or prevent osteoporosis. Weight gain. This has been linked to the new class of anti-HIV drugs, integrase inhibitors, but the relationship is unclear. This is the preferred class of HIV drugs, so it is not clear what to do about weight gain in this context. Problems with mitochondria, mitochondrial toxicity. Mitochondria are the parts of the cells that are key to the energy production. Some HIV drugs can affect their function, causing problems throughout the body, including in the heart, pancreas, muscles, or nerves. If you show signs of these conditions, your doctor will probably change your medications. Accumulation of a cellular waste product, lactic acidosis. This is rare, but can cause a wide range of problems, from muscle aches to liver failure. Damage to the mitochondria could be behind it. You may need to change medications. As you could see on this video, there are different side effects for short and long term due to the antiretroviral therapy against HIV. This is, however, the only way to fight the virus, otherwise it will turn into AIDS. This is the only way until we have a cure, but for the moment there is no cure for HIV. If you liked the video, please give it a like, share, subscribe, and follow me also on Facebook and Instagram. This would help me a lot. Thank you very much and see you next time.